My friend wants to give up on being a postman for a comedian, but his delivery is awful. Welcome to my channel. My name is Kat Kinway, and this is Artsy Fartsy Magic. talk about random subjects and draw at the same time. What? It's so crazy. It's almost magical. Okay, let's go. Wait a minute. So today I'm having a little special for you guys. I got this adorable squishy Maui pillow in the mail yesterday. I haven't opened it yet. I can't wait to unbox it. I'm in love with the tape. It's just... They sent me a pink one, so obviously goes with the vibes. Ooh, don't cut your hand. It's so soft. It's so cute. You cannot have this. This is not yours. Y'all, if you love this plush pillow, you can click the link below and use my code ARTSY and have 15% off one of these babies. Yeah, that's all I gotta say about that, so. Let's go. So, really good news, and maybe not for my art journey, but good news for me. Life update, I'm going back to school, yay, in August. So I won't be posting weekly videos all the time. It'll probably just be more like once a month or whenever I have time to post. Not as frequent, but I'm definitely going to keep doing my art. It's definitely a passion of mine. It's never going to stop. But I figured I should probably get my schooling out of the way, get it over with and be done with it. You know, I don't want to be a bedside nurse for the rest of my life. It's a wonderful career that I'm in, but it's not good on my body physically. I definitely need something more long term for me. I am very excited to start this journey as a psychiatric nurse practitioner. So I thought about doing this a year ago and I actually got accepted into a program, but then I put it on hold because I was worried about tuition and fees. I wasn't sure if I would have time to do it, but here I am a year later still thinking about it. Oh, there's my pizza. Hold on. Okay. I know I'm kind of like going all over the place, but that cauliflower pizza from Aldi's is really freaking good guys. I just wanted to talk about real quick why I decided decided to become a nurse practitioner in psychiatrics. I'm a big fan of mental health. I have several videos about it. Here's one of them. Oop. I've kind of been really doing a lot of self-discovering on what I want to do for the rest of my life. And obviously that can change over time. Everybody's different. My journey, I thought I was going to be a bedside nurse for the rest of my life until I realized it's not for me. It's not for me. I love it. I love taking care of people. That's always been a passion of mine, but not worth the pay. It's really not you get paid so much less than how much work you do. Maybe I'll go back to it if I ever get bored and want to switch it up, but honestly, I really want to focus on taking care of people's mental health, and it definitely is a passion of mine. I grew up in a home where people were mentally unstable, so that is the perfect place for me. <laughs> All jokes aside, I really do care about it, and I want people to be aware of it. I want to help people take care of themselves. And I realized like that's definitely something I can do if I just persevere for the next two and a half, three years and make a good living off of it. Maybe I'll have a house. Maybe I can afford children. Who knows? Um, <laughs> inflation! Plus, it'll definitely help support this channel with new equipment and new canvases and I can afford more things to buy, but also just like quality of life. I thought I wanted to be a full-time artist. I still want to be a full-time artist maybe eventually in the future, but I'm just kind of thinking of like insurance benefits and all of that. I really don't want to go through doing that for myself. <laughs> I would rather just have a consistent, stable job knowing that I'm gonna have income coming in, but it can also help with my painting career. Plus, I don't wanna do commissions for people anymore. I just kinda wanna paint for myself. One, two, 
art therapy. I can learn about art therapy and do that for my patients and help other people express their own creativity through art. Oh, I'm just so excited to start this journey. Yeah, I thought about becoming a tattoo artist at one point, but then I was like, woo. <laughs> Then I would be bending over on like who knows what body part for who knows how long and I don't want to do that. <laughs> I think honestly I just want to learn tattooing for myself so I can like give my friends tattoos and give myself tattoos but I really kind of don't want to do it for anybody else. Who knows I might want to switch my career up again. Honestly like we're all lifelong learners here and we can do whatever we want to do in our lives. We can be whatever we want to be when we grow up. Another plus is I just wanted to take some time to teach myself more art. I wanted to learn more things and I just kind of feel like I'm rushing myself. I don't want to do that. I want to take my time. Art is important to me and I want to know how to do all of it. <laughs> so here I am doing my doodles. I just wanted to do something fun in my sketchbook. It was a previous sketch from months ago and I wanted to do the black and red color scheme kind of thing. Never got around to it and I was like, hey, it's time. <laughs> I know I normally just pick about one thing to talk about and stick to it and this video is kind of all over the place, but that's just me as a personality. <laughs> I've realized that I tend to stay focused for like a super long time, depending on what you consider long, and then I I get distracted and I want to do random videos about just random things and it turns into a random channel. <laughs> It's still art though. Everything is very art related, but what I talk about is irregular. Like you never know. You never know what I'm going to talk about every single week. So, <laughs> and I already know I'm like already halfway through this video and haven't even talked about what I want to talk about, but it's Gucci. We Gucci, Gucci mamas and zaddies. <laughs> I don't want to leave the non-binary people out, but I don't have a fun name. I'm sorry. Love you. All right, here's the topic. Life after death. Oh my God, we're getting serious. We're getting serious. Well, not really. I just wanted to talk about how I watched a couple of videos of people having near-death experiences and how much, I guess, less fear I have after watching it. Like, I don't have as much fear about death now interesting. I mean, it's not that I want to die. Considering all of the world events that have happened recently, I bet all of us have probably thought about it. Sweet, sweet death. <laughs> this is so bad. I am I'm trying to be sarcastic and it's not really working out. The point is, after watching these videos, I just realized like, you know, life isn't too bad. Life is really all about helping others and showing love to others and spreading love and just being kind. We are spiritual beings that are having an experience in a physical body form. Like we all have consciousnesses that live on, but our physical body does not. Regardless of whether you have a religion or not, I firmly believe having any sort of belief, like any sort of spirituality, like I'm not religious at all, but I am very, I'm a very spiritual person. It's okay to be atheist, okay? Like I'm not saying like you have to have a belief for you to be a good person. I'm just saying it helps your mind be at peace. It gives you a sense of calm and just, I don't know, make death easier, I guess. If you ever get the chance to look up Nancy Ryan's story, you should definitely look into it because it's crazy and it's so believable too. I mean, I believe her, to be honest, I do, because there's been so many people that have reported near-death experiences and it's all kind of relatively similar to each other. So there was a study done about near-death experiences, aka NDEs, and while no two NDEs are the same, there are characteristic features that are commonly observed in NDEs. These characteristics include a perception of seeing and hearing apart from the physical body, passing into or through a tunnel, encountering a mystical light, intense and generally positive emotions, a review of part or all of their prior life experiences, encountering deceased loved ones, and a choice to return to their earthly life. And the participants in the study had to be like on a certain requirement. So they had to have a lucid experience, meaning like they couldn't have disorganized thoughts or like barely remember any of it. Like it had to be completely lucid. Like they had this experience and they were literally dead. Like 
in need of cardiac pulmonary resuscitation. Considering NDEs from both a medical perspective and logically, it should not be possible for unconscious people to often report highly lucid experiences that are clear and logically structured. Most NDEers report super normal consciousness at the time of their NDEs. I can definitely go more into this in a different video. If you guys would like that, just leave a comment down below. And this other side of the sketchbook I just wanted to do something fun with the stamp that I had and obviously have fun with more Posca pens what abstract get it uh get it uh roses that's what I like anyways if you enjoyed my content give me a like and subscribe and I will see y'all next hump day peace love and magic fuck this shit I'm out mm -mm. fuck this shit I'm out no thanks